They have spent the long winter apart, searching for food. He must find her, if there's any hope of starting a family. Maybe she hasn't survived the winter. Together, On Today TV, She Loves Coda presents Backwoods and Burgers. It's almost 4.20. What's up, fuck niggas? It's your boy, P. Diz, Dizzler, you know, the big Diz. We up in this motherfucker. Today, we finna do a little new little thing I came up with when I was taking this shit the other day. Nigga, we gonna motherfucking. Smoke it backward, make some burgers. You feel me? Today, nigga, we gonna do motherfucking two different burgers. We gonna do, I'm pretty sure there's a name for it. I don't know what the fucking name is, so it's gonna be called a different burger. You feel me? All right, so first off, nigga, I'm gonna say, you smoking backwards. I don't usually smoke backwards, y'all. I've just been kind of in that mode. This, like, nigga, I haven't smoked backwards like four years. Honeyberry, these is the best fucking backwood flavor you can get, bro. Like, all the other flavors are cool, but like, honeyberry. And you feel me? We smoking off some motherfucking, I can't show y'all where I get my shit from. We got some lemon cherry gelato, you know what I mean? Smoking off some, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, we just, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some fucking 80, 20 ground beef balls, paws. Nigga, and then we got some motherfucking, uh, some ground pork or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I just thought sausage, nigga. Pause. That sounded gay as fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. So you see these motherfucking, yeah, these fresh ingredients from the grocery store, nigga. I went there myself. You feel me? Nigga. I mean, shit, I don't know what else there is to do over here. So, nigga, let's fucking cook this shit up, nigga. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that Nick Dizzler now. Don't go. Roll the ch and we will be right back with Backwoods and Burgers. It's almost 4.20. How many of us have them? Friends. Ones we can depend on. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. Before we go any further, Super so could she get wet for them trap stars Hanging out with thugs and slams on a bank card No money on my ice on my wrist Can't explain how I walk, it's a myth Living legend, just so dirty, let's get rich Yeah, he added that bass every time when he slid Angels on the outfield, yeah, we've been outside Now enough foes, don't forget we the top five We bout to get it lit, yeah, I'm higher than cloud nine Dashing on that road, I am fast in the Mach 5 If it's up, then it's stuck, I have to fly out my town Make him seal every bag, better cash every pound
market. About to get the live vlog. So, is here. Warning. The following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. My name's Tate Canyon, and this is Rock Lobster. Oh, what the fuck? Yo. Yo. Fucking yo. This motherfucker's insane. Yo. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. I'm trying to wait for it. Accordingly, MTV and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. She told me she feel alive. She feel alive Join us for the following previews. I guess we could start from the start. Yeah. From the edit side of it. Um, to start off, just in like kind of one broad big question. Introduce yourself. Um, what was your life growing up as a kid? Uh, what was school life? Who did you respect? And what did you do in your free time? What did you consume? Movies, scopes? Okay. I, I got that for sure. Well, my name is Amir Bay. Now y'all niggas are over here. Uh huh? Yo. Yeah. I'm about to cook up all the bacon right now, so I don't have to do it later for the bacon snack. Smart thinking, y'all. For the take the uh, the bacon and shit, you feel me? For the motherfucker. Oh shit. Yup. Did I do sizzling? Sizzle, sizzle, you feel that? Cook it up, Zay. Cook it up, Zay. That's beef bacon, y'all. Beef bacon, y'all. Come on. You know, it's like we in this one's kitchen. This you want them crispy enough so the motherfucking things like hold up. You feel me? Toast both sides of your bun. Hold up, God. That motherfucking good blood. Get up. 
with that bitch. Look, salt on that motherfucker. White pepper. And it's some garlic powder, y'all. And I know it looks like a lot, but they cook down, y'all. I bet you hear everybody fucking say. <laughs> Yeah. That's a pretty good smash, nigga. What? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna slice the cheese on that motherfucker. I know, y'all. White American. Not that yellow man. It's gotta be real white American. It can't be no motherfucking craft singles or none of that bullshit. We don't do it. Take that bitch off. Yo. That man prodder was really whipping in the kitchen. Don't go. We will be right back with Backwoods and Burgers. It's almost 420. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Shut up, boy. Where's the high school? Didn't do great. Working for an hourly wage. Working for an hourly wage. Alright, we the Broke Boys. What's up, guys? It's the Broke Boys. We're coming at you from Today TV. We're going to be covering some hot news topics today that we honestly really fuck with. The Broke Boys way. And we at our crib, so welcome. So we're gonna start, Jeremiah you can go first. What you really fucking with right now? Today we're gonna be talking about Superman Legacy. Well, actually just Superman now because James Gunn has officially confirmed that the title's being changed to Superman Legacy. This is a little bit old, but to Superman. And we saw the, the costume and the logo from there, but that wasn't really an official look. It was kind of James Gunn's Instagram just been taking a picture on set. This is the first official like DC statement, putting it out there. Now, in more recent news, he's debunked a lot of theories. People are saying there's gonna be two Superman in the movie, an evil Superman clone, and like, you know, David Corns with Superman. Now he's debunked it in a weird way. He has said that that won't be, there's no Superman clone that will be the main villain. He has said the main villain. So there could definitely still be a Superman clone that fights Superman in the movie, that's evil, that is not the main villain, while Lex Luthor is still the main villain. Lex Luthor has been known in the comics multiple times to create clones. Now, we've also gotten, with that news, a official DC look at the Superman logo. That is gonna be with promotional art and for the movie. It looks amazing. It's Kingdom Come Superman logo, but with yellow instead of black. Also, some controversy on that. People aren't too hot about the yellow outline or the fact that it's a Kingdom Come logo and not the classic Superman logo. Uh, my thoughts on that are honestly that it's just, it's supposed to show the type of story that we're looking at. So that tells a lot about the story, a more youthful Superman with the same ideology of the story that we're getting from Kingdom Come. The new uh, Superman comes up against a newer, younger team of superheroes in that story. Uh, instead of it being a new Justice League or original characters, it's going to be the Authority, which is a really nice way to expand the DC universe while also keeping it close to the idea of the original story that we're wrapping up. In other news, my boy Ja Morant, 12, free 12. 12 can't be held by 12. You know what I'm saying? He got let go of his charges. He was being uh, acting in self-defense in his altercation with 17-year-old Joshua Holloway during the basketball pickup game that occurred at their crib, where he allegedly attacked the guy with dozens of punches after Josh got mad they was talking shit. He threw a ball on him in the face and allegedly Ja punched him dozens of times. This is just an report. Dozens so it's of sets times. Of 12. Yeah, okay. <laughs> my boy 12, stay on brand, always. And he also has a, a very violent history of like getting caught with this kind of stuff, but he's being, being active in self defense. So we good in South Carolina for now. And you know, like I said, the story's still unfolding with Java Rand. Yeah. But, but healthy recovery 12, we ready for you next season. Yeah. We taking over. We Bro, taking over. as a workout. <laughs> you know, he's trying to get in the box. Again. Yeah, for real. <laughs> we hit him in the face. Like, well done. We hit him in the face with the ball, of the kid. Yeah. So the job sucks. It's not justified. No, it's terrible. This is bad. Transitioning into more news, we have Gabe's. 
abandoned mansion in Malibu. Purchased originally for $80 million, this mansion was designed by an architect that Kim really fucked with. Throughout the process of the divorce, Ye said nope. We're scrapping Ye that. Ye <laughs> said And just got <laughs> Drilled the fuck out of it, removed everything. I think he wanted a blank canvas. But right now it's basically bare bones. Shit's looking like a parking garage at like a fucking Ralph's or something. You know, the place that you find to go skate? That's what it looks like, basically. Apparently he didn't pay whatever contractor. Now it's got a lien on it. And whoever wants to buy it next for 50 million has to pay the lien. And so what are the, the bank gonna foreclose that shit? The bank is coming, man. So it's just like an abandoned mansion out there? Like, yeah. I mean, I guess it's not like free for the taking, but for 50 million. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just no one's. That's kind of crazy. Really, That's kind of crazy. Everybody's been in that Not that I've heard of. Oh shit, okay, well, I think that's gonna call it for today. It's Today TV, we the Broke Boys. Uh, I'm gonna catch y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see y'all later. Oh yeah, peace. I look like a man on a mission. Plenty times left the scene, plenty nights felt incomplete. Without my day ones, look where we came from. We passed the smoke booth and hash the J, and we ain't going home. Oh, ain't my fault, I ain't think you would show. Oh, 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 yeah, and it might be slow, like speed aside. I won't miss the ride. I won't miss the ride. Yeah, when my teens on, we might need new highs. But I won't kiss goodbye. Yeah, I won't miss the ride. Yeah, hey, uh. From my sink, my vision fried mirror staring in my eyes. People's always looking jaded. My past is right there. My class was nightmares. I clashed with my peers. Said, fuck it, I ain't wanna be whole. Any fears that would stop me for years and leave holes. A lot of tears, but that's part of the song. Mama called me about 50 times. Just to know a son alive. I left the tone. Cause I'm out trying to make this money, mama. You know how it goes. Game. And oh. We can't go back home. We know it's the much I gotta stay away, gotta stay away. Oh. Is it cold rain? I, I, I miss it cold rain. Is it uh? I miss it cold rain. I, I, I miss it cold rain. Is it uh? Yo, it's July. We're out here. We're out here in the sunny, uh, sunny arids of California, and we're gonna give you guys a little review. So I've been, uh, I'm a little bit of a hypester. As the, the young bucks say, and I like to collect some crazy shit. So today we're going to be looking at some pieces that I brought along so y'all can get an idea of uh, some artists that I fuck with. The artist today in question is Imran Potato. As you can see, these are some crazy ass, crazy ass shoes. I wouldn't even consider them shoes. These are more of like novelty antiques, something that you can just kind of throw on on a night out and make it look crazy. So we have two versions here. Um, this was the very first version that he released 
uh, the ones that broke the internet. But the thing about these shoes is, as you can tell, these are worn. They haven't been in a box. These have been worn. These Johns, yeah, they've been worn. So I'm gonna give you guys the little rundown between these two shoes and kind of let you know what the pros and cons are these two of these two Johns are. So version one, the cons. I'm gonna always start with the bads when it comes to these ones. The bad thing about this, lacking the padding, really lacking support. All you get when you get this shoe, see this little piece of foam right here? That's all you get, brother. You just get a little piece of foam for the bottom of your foot. You gotta make it fit along the whole run of this shoe. I'm a size 13, I run it pretty high. And the one problem I always have with the shoe is putting it on. It's literally like putting a latex mask on your foot. When it comes to comfort, expect to feel everything you're stepping on. Even when it comes to sand, rock, dirt, asphalt. Even when I have the little padded inserts in here, I tend to feel everything that I'm stepping on. So if you're going into an area that has glass or is gonna have glass or nails or whatever the fuck you think is gonna puncture your foot, I would suggest you keep these home. But if you're going into like a nice little club function or like an indoor function where you know shit ain't gonna be too bad, throw these on and you'll break a couple necks for sure. The pros about this, they're the version ones. These are the number one, like these are the first things that this bro brought out. And to me, they're kind of an odd shoe because everybody kind of thinks of a shoe a certain way. But this is a different, this is an oddity. This is something that not everybody gets to get their hands on and not everyone can wear. So when it comes to the overall vibe of this shoe, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 vibes. Reason why I'm giving it a seven is because I just wish it had better comfort. Now, a cheat code you can do, which I've seen a lot of other people do, is buy flip-flops and throw them in here. That way you can throw a flip-flop on. It's just like you're having the padding on the inside, but it's a little bit more low profile. It kind of allows you to work with the shoe. It's a stretchy shoe. So, like, I'm pulling on this John right now and it ain't ripping and I've had them for a couple minutes. It's a strong shoe. Again, seven out of 10 wipes. Now these Johns right here, these are the like Croc editions. These are a collaboration apparently with between Imran Potato and Croc. But the beauty about this shoe is it's a lot thicker. This actually has the added support that I was talking about previously. The only problem is it doesn't allow your foot to flex too much. If you're gonna be wearing these Johns or if you get any other color variations of these particular ones, the Croc collaboration potatoes, these are gonna rub your feet the wrong way, fam. I'm honest. <laughs> you gotta wear some dress socks or something that's polyester silk lined with these because if you wear a cotton sock, it's gonna bundle up and then it's gonna rub your foot wrong. Trust me, I've had a lot of bad nights walking down Fresno Art Hop with these and my feet were burning. But what I like about these is they add a little bit more stability. They have a little bit more sole, they have a little bit more action, and they're all white. So you can paint them if you want. You can add your own you know, sauce to them if you really feel like it. Um, other than that, when it comes to all of them for this one, I'd give this one a eight out of 10 wipes, only because they up the comfort and stability of the shoe, but they didn't create a good way for your foot to fit naturally with it. Regardless though, Potato's out here doing his thing. The bag also by Potato, as you can see. And um, he's a good artist, creating some crazy, crazy pieces out here. And um, hopefully you guys love what I like and you guys get to pull it out and see what you guys fuck with type shit. Have a good one, be safe. We out. I tried to drop it right in front. I was like, shit. Let's see what the Dizzler burger is tasting like. Welcome back to Backwoods and Burgers with Big Prada. All right, y'all. We're going to take this motherfucking Baconator, the Dizzler burger. You feel me? This nigga Tate had this in his car. Sweet, spicy jam from McDicks. You want to see what's up with it? 
you know, that could be good. Fuck it, y'all. You never know. This is why it's the Bizzler Burger. We'll put some of this shit on it. We got this shit. So we finna see what's up with it. I'm hoping it's good. All right, y'all. Gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the top on it. Yep, yep. Wrap that bitch up the Aki way. You feel me? Look at that. It's a fat ass burger, y'all. Look at that. It's like a football. Nigga. <laughs> now what? Yeah. Chalk. Okay, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm finna cut this bitch open. You feel me? I let it sit for like ten seconds. I got a knife. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this bitch in half. The Aki way, y'all. That bitch probably just fucked that burger up, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, y'all. I should put an egg on that. That should have made it the dessert special for real. That bitch kind of looked crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna see what's up with it. Oh, man. When I take a bite of this bitch, bro, you gotta like censor my mouth. I don't want people watching me eat, bro. That's kind of weird. Pause. It does taste pretty cool with that. I'm not gonna lie. It's a McDizzler. Yeah, nigga. It's a burger. The fuck? Alright, you can cut it. I'm about to eat this bitch real quick. Thank you for joining us on Today TV. We hope to see you again very soon for our conversation with Amir Van of Brockhampton. Broder just gave me some of that backwards and now I'm faded as f See you never f is.